guys, so this right here is the big fan. This is an oscillating fan. This is what I use for the plants that I have in here and that I have. These are actually in a windowsill. Okay, you see we have, uh, and these have screens and the sun is coming in right now trickling over the trees. So what will happen is, and I have these lights hanging here. Um, all they are is there's one pink and one white for LED strips and the you know that's to supplement because it doesn't get full sun here but they will get a couple hours trickling through those screens which work as a um, a shade cloth so that they don't just shrivel up and die so this is uh, actually and these are very small but this is the beginning stages of hardening off now I'll take some other plants but using fan for seedlings um, and then these here I, I got to raise them up but as you can see this one's wiggling you see it just wiggling away a little bit just getting a light breeze uh, i will turn the fan on higher and then this one here this is all my extras you see they're still in the small pots but they're looking really good guys um and what i'll do is i'll raise this up or else i'll sometimes i just carry this over and set it in front of the fan for five ten minutes um they do get a little bit from here but these are dropped down lower um, i'm doing a little bit of an experiment so we got one big fan and then okay so over here you can see these are nice and it's moving along real nicely. You see them just jiggling in the wind. I have a smaller fan. This is a desk fan, actually. And um, I can move this thing around anywhere. You guys know, last year I had this hanging from the closet door. And it would swivel, um, you know, 180 degrees or at least 90 degrees. So, yeah, and that's how I... And I can actually adjust this to where I want it. So, yeah. I just have that plugged in there and turn it on for half hour uh, maybe an hour a day what about those hard to reach spaces all right right here guys here's what it is i have a couple of plants over here these are the lemon spice jalapenos um i'm growing for my daughter and i ran out of a light space so i have this light thingamajiggy from amazon it's cheap and it works really good and i have this little handheld fan and all i do is just kind of set that there every day and just let it go to town you see them jiggling I just leave that on for a little bit. Oh, and by the way, that was like a dollar store fan that you can recharge on your phone charger. So, yeah, uh, cheap and efficient. I mean, the oscillating big fan in the living room I've had for, I don't know, over a year was probably like 30, 40 bucks, and it'll last you 10 years. Um, this little thing was, when we were cleaning out uh, my work, this was something that was in one of the closets. So I got that for free. And these are probably like 15 bucks, 10 bucks, maybe, who knows. I also have a USB fan. I haven't used that yet. I don't have any a need for it right now. But it's just a little, it's a little fan that's a little bit smaller than this one. So yeah, using fans for seedlings. Um, you don't have to have them. I'm, and please, do not sit there and leave a fan on them all day. Now, if you're using an isolating, uh, uh, oscillating fan and you have it on a lower setting, um, you can do that. If you guys are wondering why these seedlings look yellower than the others, it's because of the lights. These 5,000 lumen really, like, I literally sit here and think my plants are overwatered or dying. It, it, every day when I look at them, I'm like, oh, no, it's getting yellow. No, I take them out and put them under a regular light, and they look just like the other ones. So, yeah. <laughs> I know I've seen so many pictures of people online that with the, with these really high lumen, especially white lights, and they'll put, they'll put a picture up and I'll say, man, your ceiling's looking a little bit yellow, buddy, but they're not. It's just the, the way the light shines down on them. It's so bright. It's really hard to see that nice dark green. Look, at, I even got stuff over here. <laughs> it's at the edge of the lights, like it's just barely getting any light, but I, I always have too much. It is better, guys, to always have too much. Last year, I, I, I had too much. I ended up giving somebody extra plants. I gave somebody else a bunch of plants for free. Two people. Um, one of them ended up, they ended up killing all of them. And so I was like, man. And I just I went by their house just to check out them. Didn't want to see. Um, but another thing, I, then I, I had germinated for a friend of mine. And I had all my stuff. I had extras, no doubt. But I actually overwatered a full tray. <clears throat> and uh, right when I did it, I knew I screwed up. But I, so I had backups like you see in the living room. And just I'm little, you know, still in the little cells. And those ended up saving the day. 
I just up potted them and they were they were good. They had nice root systems and everything. Um, and sometimes you'll see that those ones in the little so if you see that the ones in the little cells look better than these, the reason why is because I just up potted these. So they they you know they they go through like a a 2448 you know maybe 72 hour uh, period of, of stagnation because of root you know just because of transplant shock um, it doesn't hurt them it's just that you'll see the stuff literally right in front of your eyes I mean three days later you'll look at the ones in the cells and you'll be like why why, why did I choose the smaller ones you know you didn't <laughs> you didn't these just haven't took off yet uh, and they will once those roots get you know saying hey you know what I got more room to move around right now see I just wanted to show you guys how to use fans for seedlings but wait, there's more. All right, so here's another thing you can do. Now look at these are the same plants, and under those uh, those those LEDs, you can see they were a little yellow looking. You can see they clearly are not yellow. I am outside right now, so this is another thing you can do is you can take your plants outside um, whenever you have time. Uh, if I mean, you still want to use fans because they're going to be inside when they're this small. Now, don't leave these out. I just threw them up on my car, so they're up somewhere high. See. And uh, so they're, they're, they're getting the best little wind action. But you do not want to leave these outside for more than 15 minutes the first time. Yeah, see them? See them kind of shaking in the wind? So what this is doing is this is uh, giving them natural wind. Um, I'm also introducing them to some UV rays right now. So I'm not ready to harden these off yet. But there's some strong wind. Yeah, look at that baby go. Yeah. Yeah, look at those bad boys. So that's that's good for them right there. That makes the plants stronger, and it gets them ready for when they do go outdoors. But like I said, um, your first time outside, in direct sunlight, do not leave them outside for more than 15 minutes because they will they will burn up. Um, and I will have these out here for 15 minutes exactly. This is the first time these ones have been outside. I do have another tray I brought outside once before. But you can see that nice wind action going on. The ones up here, nice wind, nice wind action. So that's good for them too. I mean, it's, it's, it's just, I mean, it's better than a fan. But you don't want to leave, like I said, don't just bring them outside and set them there. So you'll come back and you'll put them inside and think everything's fine and wake up the next day and your plants will be burnt up. The first time, 15 minutes, you throw them out for half hour to 40 minutes a second time. If you're doing it the next day. And then you can throw them out for an hour and move it up to two, so on and so forth, unless you got shade cloth. So there we go. But you can see these are looking pretty good. Um, like I said, they're not as yellow as they look under them lights. Them lights just make them look terrible. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah.